Okay. I guess then we just get to see the different news articles in the background. Maybe a little disappointing. I was hoping there'd be a little more to it th than that. I mean, I do appreciate that the game here is giving you a choice without much... It's not trying to force you into a certain decision. It's kind of trying to make, uh... There's an upside and downside to every choice, right? Because on the one hand, if we destroyed Antivorta, we'd be murdering more people. And we'd be... And, uh, well, mostly the issue is just we'd be killing more people and misusing resonance, I suppose. But it'd be for the greater good and stuff because there'd be then no Antivorta project with the secu um, invading on people's privacy and stuff. Yeah, see, so people just basically ignored, just ignored that article that he posted. All right. Kind of what we figured. Oh well. But... I don't know. Well, we'll c I'll come back in a bit to see what would have happened if we deleted it. I, pres I presume nothing would have happened. It would have... Exactly the same stuff would have happened. Just that... Then... Bennett and Ray would have gotten to go back to their normal lives while this way they won't because they're going to get tracked down by the Eleven Foundation, right? AKA, I guess, uh, the Illuminati. Oh, so there still is that question there. Huh, just as much as it, as it would have been if we would have destroyed Antivorta. Okay. I'm curious to see what the other, what the next article will be. So what, what's the final consequence then in comparison? Now, do we just have the exact same result as if we would have destroyed Antivorte, except now we're down 21 people in the hospital? I guess we'll find out. In just a few seconds! But Deus Ex really delves into a lot more of the, hold on. Walking back support. Okay, so you stopped supporting it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so this seems to be the right choice, kind of, because we stopped Ed from killing 21 people, and we still smeared Antivorta's name to the point that the support was pulled and supposedly the project was discontinued and people went along with their everyday lives a little safer, not that they ever re would have realized the difference anyway. Deus Ex put a lot more gray area and a lot more thought into this kind of decision, in my opinion. Okay, they're persons of interest, so they turned out to be in a pretty good situation, I guess. Okay, financial records tie it. What? How? How would financial records tie them? Well, like, because Eleven Foundation, which consists of just two people as far as we know, basically, what, they like, had a plane go to those places? Is that it? What kind of financial records were you talking about? I don't understand that, but cl clearly, this is a, supposed to be a better ending than the one where we destroyed Antivorta, even though the results are the same. Yeah, exactly the same results, except for the fact that Antivorta was adopted for a little bit, and then pulled, instead of the world being united under under a uh, peace treaty for a little while, and then abandoned. None of these seem all that great, to be honest. I mean, in, every, in both these options so far, Antivorta is stopped, but the world is still chugging along in its own crubby, crummy status quo. So, really, what what has improved? How is it better? It's not really. We just kind of returned everything to the status quo through one way or another. Hmm. Oh, well. Be back in just a, just a bit with that other ending. See you then. And we're back. Now it's time to delete this article. The end. Again. 
see what's different this time. I wish I could just see it in just a quick slideshow instead of having to wait for all the damn credits again. Oh well, it's just how it works, I guess. Sorry for you having to wait. I, mean, I suppose I could fast forward past these, but eh. I'd rather just let it come at its own pace so you have plenty of time to look at it and read whatever you want. Okay, so deleting the article, what would that do? It would, should leave Antivorta in power. Well, in... in... not in power exactly, but... leave it... un... well, it should... should leave support for Antivorta, and it shouldn't be pulled because there's no article that reveals it as a break in, in people's security and the surveillance thing. you think that people that people would realize that it was an issue, though. Like, I think that someone would, would realize that Antivorta, which is this huge anti-terrorism measure, isn't all it's cracked up to be. I mean, that's how people realized that Things like the measures that George W. Bush put in place after 9-11 weren't all they're cracked up to be. Things like the wiretapping. They looked at that and they're like, what? You're doing what now? That's not good. That's not legal. So if Congress supports it unanimously, then people would be pretty damn aware of what the hell this thing is. What this anti vorta project is. Okay, what now? Okay, so all, all the... Major nations adopt the Antivorta. Okay, and the investigation of the, of the resonance weapon kind of gets pushed to the sidelines. Makes sense. I mean, I'm sure that the Levin Foundation pulled some strings for that. So either things, I guess, things just continue on, and Ray and Bennett get back to their lives, and. They just allow the Eleven Foundation to stay in power, I guess. Well, they're not really in power exactly. They just are a little less. They have, their freedoms are infringed a little further. Okay. See, so President Flip Flop sticks with the <laughs> Antivorta project this time. What's this on the left? Stocks. Close low on news of national distrust or something. Something distrust. Okay. I think it was that way for all of them, wasn't it? I think I recall that graph in the at least the previous one, if not the one before as well. Weird. And now there's just one more question. What would happen if Anna hadn't gotten shot. Okay, so, yep. R Ray and... And Bennett are fine. Okay, and Ed is wanted... Is missing, but wanted for the attacks. Oh, he's... Oh, he's uh, accused of the worldwide attacks. Psh, that makes no sense. How could one man coordinate all those worldwide attacks on his own. That makes no friggin' sense. Well, I guess people just really get spoon-fed a bunch of BS by the Levin Foundation, so... That's what we do by exposing the Levin Foundation. We stop them, and in the end, it doesn't really hurt Ray or Bennett at all. Okay, and Vorder expands worldwide. Alright. So... So... Basically, I mean, I know it's an invasion of people's privacy, but what's the direct, what's the consequence of that, huh? I mean, it's, it's, we knee jerk that it's a bad thing, and I think that it is a bad thing, but the game doesn't offer any reason why it's a bad thing. It's just like, oh, you don't want your DNA on file, do you? That's bad. Why? It's not having DNA on file or having my tweets stuck in some database that makes me nervous. It's the idea that I could be incriminated for those kinds of things that makes me nervous. It's the idea that's, that 
the government would abuse that power in order to take greater control over its citizens, to enforce um, absolute control over the people that live in, in, the, in the nation you know, or in the world or whatever. That's what makes absolute security scary, the idea that your rights are gone. But this game here in these end things did not in any way explore what happens when that when the anti vortex project gets put in place. So I wish that it would kind of delve into the consequences. Oh well, thanks for watching.